Advanced AI systems like ChatGPT are being studied for their potential to improve student learning outcomes. Can ChatGPT act as a reliable intelligent tutor to assist engineering students in their learning journeys? Do these large language models exhibit the sufficient reasoning skills needed as a tutor? To examine ChatGPT's knowledge and reasoning capacity, we had it take a basic engineering mechanics test. We then compared its performance to that of a group of engineering students. The test was comprised of 20 questions. In the following discussion, I will present and analyze abbreviated ChatGPT's answers to six of these questions. Please refer to the document linked in the video description field for the full responses. Consider a beam with an overhang. Does the applied load cause a bending moment at support A? If yes, what is the magnitude of the moment? Since point A has a pin support, it cannot resist moment, meaning there is no fixed moment at that point. However, the applied load will create a moment around point A. This moment would be considered negative in the usual sign convention as it tends to rotate the beam clockwise about point A. So the answer is yes, the applied load causes a bending moment at point A, and the magnitude of that moment is 60 kNm. Yes, that is the correct response. Out of 40 students who took the test, 21 answered the question incorrectly, 6 provided a partially correct answer, and 13 gave the correct response. For the beam given in the previous question, what is the direction of the bending moment caused by the vertical reaction at the roller support about end A? Given that the reaction force at B, let's call it, RB, is upward. And the distance between A and B is 4 meters. The moment caused by RB, about point A, would tend to rotate segment AB in a counterclockwise direction. So the direction of the bending moment caused by the vertical reaction force at the roller support about point A is counterclockwise. Correct. Here is the breakdown of student responses. Consider this simply supported beam and its free body diagram. Given equations 1 through 4, Select the equations representing the correct equilibrium conditions for the beam. Since there are no horizontal forces mentioned in the problem, the horizontal reaction at the pin support, A, must be zero. Hence, equation 1 is correct. The sum of the vertical forces must be equal to zero. Since the vertical reactions are upward, and the applied load is downward, the correct equation for vertical equilibrium is 2. Taking moments about point A, we have 6 times 24, minus 8 times BY, equals 0, so equation 3 is correct. Equation 4 does not correspond to any equilibrium condition in this problem, so it is incorrect. For this question, ChatGPT gave a partially correct answer. While it correctly identified equations 1 through 3 as valid, it made an incorrect assertion by stating that equation 4 does not correspond to any equilibrium condition. A beam subjected to a vertical load rests on two roller supports. Calculate the beam support reactions. Given that the beam is resting on two rollers and subjected to a downward vertical load at its midpoint, it is simply supported and will have vertical reactions at both supports. We can use the equilibrium equations to solve for the unknown reactions. AY equals 40 kilonewtons. BY equals 40 kilonewtons. Incorrect. The beam is unstable because it rests on only two roller supports. However, ChatGPT attempted to solve the problem as if the beam was stable. Consider the free body diagram shown here. 1. 
Write the equilibrium equation for the forces in the horizontal direction. 2. Write the equilibrium equation for the forces in the vertical direction. 3. Calculate the support reactions. 4. Is there an alternative formulation for the equilibrium equations that yields a different result? 1. The horizontal reaction force Q is pointing to the right, and the horizontal load of 10 kN is also pointing to the right. Therefore, the sum of the forces in the horizontal direction is, Q minus 10 equals 0. 2. The vertical reaction force, R, is pointing upward, and the downward load of 8 kN applied at the midpoint of the horizontal leg. Therefore, the sum of the forces in the vertical direction is, R, minus 8 equals 0. 3. From the above equations, we can directly calculate the reaction forces, Q equals 10 kN, and, R, equals 8 kN. 4. The equilibrium equations for the sum of the forces in the horizontal and vertical directions are unique for this system. Therefore, the answer is that there is no alternative formulation that yields a different result. Chat GPT gave the correct answer to the second question. But it made a sign mistake writing the first equilibrium equation, and more significantly, made a fundamental error in responding to the fourth question. It failed to recognize that the frame is unstable, and the static equilibrium equations do not have a unique solution. From the structural analysis standpoint, what is the main difference between a beam and a truss? How differently do the two structures carry their loads? The main difference lies in how they respond to loads. Beams carry loads primarily through bending, shear, and moment, while trusses resist loads mainly through axial forces in tension or compression. That is a correct response. To quantify the performance of ChatGPT and the students in this test, we can assign zero points to each incorrect response, 50 points to each partially correct response, and 100 points to each correct response. Here is the distribution of students' grades. Out of 40, 5 students performed below 50%, 2 performed at 50% level, 1 performed at 52.5% level, and so on. The average student performance was 64%. Based on this grading system, a student who achieves a score of 80% or higher is deemed to have a good understanding of the subject and should, therefore, be capable of assisting other students with their questions. ChatGPT's performance on this test was at 70%. It made fundamental mistakes when solving problems. Further research and testing are necessary to determine whether ChatGPT's reasoning skills can be improved for tutoring purposes.